So, so the rich apparently get richer. Um, the Big Ten is allowing Ohio State to play in the Big Ten championship game in spite of their game with Michigan being canceled. And I think it's bull crap. Now I'm gonna approach this from two perspectives, okay? So as somebody who likes sports, you know what I mean? Who just likes good competitive sports. I can see, I can kind of see where they're coming from. On paper, Ohio State is a great team. On paper, Ohio State, their record from previous years show then you can look at the returning players that they have and the recruiting class that they have. I'm assuming that all of these things are what go into ranking teams in the preseason. In the preseason, you rank teams based off of what they've done in the past and how they look on paper. So on paper, from that perspective, it's like, yes, this is a great team. We want them to be in big games. They're also a money-making team with a big fan base. We want them to be in games where they can make us a little bit of money. You understand what I'm saying? So from that perspective, I can understand. But then you have the other perspective. This ain't preseason, bruh. This ain't preseason. So it's the end of the season. So... All that stuff that's going down on paper doesn't matter. The season, the regular season is where you test what was on paper versus how teams actually produce. Five games is not a big enough sample size for you to say this team is the fourth best team in the country. Now, I'm a Notre Dame fan. I'm a Notre Dame fan. Die hard. I was, I was a Notre Dame fan when we was not having great seasons okay Tommy Reese I love what you're doing that as offensive coordinator but when you were quarterback things didn't look so pretty all the time let's just be real you know what I mean um but I was a fan back then um and you take a team take a team like Notre Dame who at this point has won 10 games one of them against the number one team in the nation on paper we don't look anywhere as near as good as Ohio State. On paper, our history is not anywhere near as good as Ohio State's for the past two to three seasons. But we took how we looked on paper to the football field and we proved otherwise. That's why we're ranked number two. Ohio State doesn't have that big of a sample size. They're the 72nd ranked strength of schedule. So the five wins that they have aren't even like strong, solid, you know, storybook ending like wins. We're just kind of going off the fact in the hopes that Ohio State will be Ohio State. They usually do pretty good. They usually do great bars. But um, is that really enough? Is that what it's coming down to? Now, I know that we're in a pandemic and there's nothing we can do about that. Nobody playing that. It's hard to plan around it. But at the same time, five games, six with, with the Big Ten, if they win the Big Ten championship game and you're putting them in over a Florida, you're putting them in over a Texas A&M. Explain to me where that made sense. But, I, I mean, I think it's unfair. I think it's unfair, and I think that we're giving a lot of, um, a lot of weight to things that were predetermined. Like, they're always a power team. They're always a top three team. You got Alabama, Clemson, and Ohio State. Those are the power teams. They're consistent. So we're just going off of the predetermined notion that, hey, they would, end, they would have ended up here anyway when we don't know. It, it ticks me off, to be honest. As, an, as a Notre Dame fan and us working our way up to the place where we are, seeing a team that was just immediately placed in the top 
what I think they were in the top five. Then they were number three. Um, and then they're still in the top four. Like it, it's, it sucks to watch. I think it's, and I think that it's, I don't want to say it's bad for the sport because we are in a pandemic, but it's just unfortunate to the teams that um, managed the pandemic better, had their players on the field and, and have a 10 game record, whether it's their nine and one, whether it's their 10 and oh, whatever the case may be to throw a five and O team in there who we're changing the rules for, for them to be able to play in the big 10 championship. It's not fair, but that's my two cents. What are you guys' thoughts? Do they belong in or not? You let me know. I'm out of here. Peace, like, comment, subscribe.